Choosing a new pair of headphones can feel overwhelming. From in-ear buds to over-ear headphones, there are just so many options for headphones that offer great sound quality and other benefits like active noise canceling, wired versus wireless headsets, portability, and more. With all the choices out there, it's hard to choose just one set of headphones to call the best overall pair of headphones. The Sony WH-1000XM5, Sony WF-1000XM5, Apple AirPods Pro 2, Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds, and Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra headphones definitely have standout features worth looking into. Over the last 20 years, I've reviewed hundreds of headphones and earbuds. I've fully reviewed or had hands-on listening time with all headphones and earbuds on this list. Although we have options at several different price points, we tend to highlight more affordable headphones or at least models that cost $500 or less. If you're looking for the best sound and have the budget for it, you can go for options like the Focal Bathys, Bowers & Wilkins, PX8, and Bayer Dynamic Zalento Wireless, a second generation, which deliver outstanding sound quality. We have listed the top five best headphones of 2024, and their key features you need to consider this to help you choose the best one for you. For more information on the product, as always, I've included a link in the description box down below, which are updated with the best prices on each product. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. Now let's get started. Number 5. Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Headphones. The Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra headphones are a credible step up from previous Bose ANC headphones, and they're built to hang tough with the competition for years into the future. No waterproofing is a bit of a letdown, but these headphones have the technical chops to make most quite happy. Established brands like Bose tend to release new products infrequently, so it's notable when they do. Late in 2023, we were introduced to the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra headphones, Bose's latest top of the line set of headphones. The Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra headphones are a departure for Bose, as they don't seek to reinvent the wheel or catch every eye on the street. Typically, headphones that represent the top of the line have some metal construction or flashy design, but these don't. And it's a good thing too because metal adds weight. Comfort and fit matter more than anything else with your daily driver headphones, and that's precisely what the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra headphones were designed to deliver. Wide ear cups and angled dynamic drivers do a decent job of getting out of your ear's way, and the soft padding on the ear cups creates a seal on your head. It's not incredibly deep, but it's adequate for those with thin glasses frames to wear without much thought. And the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra headphones weigh in at a mere 253G. Number 4. Apple AirPods Max. Using the AirPods Max is a mixed bag. This headset is fantastic in particular situations, but anytime you want to use the AirPods Max in a way Apple doesn't intend, things get weird. For example, even just going wired means you need to jump through a few hoops. The AirPods Max doesn't have a 3.5mm headphone jack, so if you want to use anything other than a Bluetooth-enabled device, you're out of luck unless you ante up for a $35 Lightning to 3.5mm audio cable from Apple. If your chosen device doesn't have a headphone jack, like Apple's own iPhones, you need another $9 USD dongle. That said, as long as you remain in Bluetooth land, you shouldn't have any problems. The AirPods Max has top-notch noise canceling and a transparency mode to let you hear what's going on around you with the click of a button. Volume and playback controls are assigned to the digital crown at the top of the right ear cup, and it is insanely smooth. At times, I find myself accidentally raising or lowering the volume when trying to readjust the headphones, Tiny sensors on the inside of the ear cups also auto-pause playback when you take off the headphones. Resuming playback is as simple as putting the headphones back on. There is no power button to turn the headset on or off. Instead, it enters a low power mode when you put it in the case, and it's ready to go when you take it out again. This is convenient but only useful when you actually use the case. When the AirPods Max isn't in the case, it remains on for a few hours before going to sleep, draining the battery the entire time. Number 3. Bowers & Wilkins PX8 Bowers & Wilkins seems particularly bullish about its new range-topping wireless headphones, the PX8. 
There's the hefty asking price for starters, which easily shades that of Apple's older but still ambitious AirPods Max. Then comes the press release that makes claims of reference standards across the board for performance, build, and finish. That's fighting talk, but at least it is backed up with real substance. There is lovely soft Nappa leather on the headband, ear cups and ear pads, which feels really pleasant to the touch. You can have it in two flavors, black or tan, and both look smart. Elsewhere, the cast aluminum arm structure is beautifully finished and feels precisely engineered in the way it slides and pivots. Unlike some rivals though, all this premium goodness doesn't add much in the way of weight, with the PX8 coming in at an entirely reasonable 320 degree. That is around 60G less than its rival from Apple. Add this reasonable weight to the well-shaped headband and nicely designed ear pads, and the result is a pleasing degree of comfort, even over extended use. The biggest technical difference between these headphones and their cheaper sibling comes down to a change of cone material for the 40mm driver on each side, from biocellulose, paper, to carbon fiber. This carbon cone is claimed to be lighter, more rigid, and better controlled in its behavior, so reducing distortion and improving transparency. The rest of the drive unit is relatively unchanged bar tweaks to the motor system to account for the reduced mass of the new cone. Number 2. Sennheiser Momentum 4 The Sennheiser Momentum 4 wireless are the next generation of the Sennheiser Momentum 3 wireless. Their design looks much more minimalistic than their predecessor, and there have been a few key updates to their performance. They don't support high-end sound tuning, an EQ advertised to create a more dynamic and vibrant audio experience, but that exacerbated driver mismatch in our Momentum 3 unit. Instead of aptx LL codec support, they utilize aptx Adaptive, which can either provide low latency or allow you to stream high-res audio, depending on your needs. They also have a significantly increased battery life compared to their predecessor and other competitor models like the Sony WH-1000XM5 wireless. The Sennheiser Momentum 4 are decent for neutral sound. Using their flat EQ preset, they have a slightly bass-heavy sound profile that delivers some extra thump, rumble, and boom to mixes. Vocals and instruments are clear but a bit veiled. Luckily, their companion app offers a graphic EQ and presets to help you customize their sound to your liking. Keep in mind that the headphones are prone to some inconsistencies in audio delivery. If you have thick hair or wear glasses, you may experience a drop in bass. The Sennheiser Momentum 4 are very good for commutes and travel. These well-built headphones have over 60 hours of continuous playback time and a comfortable enough fit for long days on the go. They also come with a sturdy, hard-carrying case to help protect the headphones when not in use. Their ANC system does a great job of cutting out noise across the full range, too, and only struggles to isolate you against the very lowest frequencies. Number 1. Sony WH-1000XM5 When you have a product that a lot of people love, change can be risky. Such is the case for Sony's WH-1000XM5, the fifth generation of the 1000X series headphones, which were first released in 2016 as the MDR-1000X wireless and have become increasingly popular as they've improved with each generation. Over the years, Sony has made some tweaks to the design, but nothing as dramatic as what it's done with the WH-1000X M5. Other than the higher $400, $380, A650 price tag, I think those changes are good. And the WH-1000X M5 has one key upgrade that's legitimately awesome. But some may disagree. The first thing you'll notice is that XM5, I refer to it as the Mark V, has a new design with big changes to the design of the headband. Gone is the dual hinge of previous models, and now there's just a single hinge with a swivel and rocker. That means these fold flat, but they don't fold up. They also come with a new carrying case that looks to be about 20% bigger than that of the previous model. That's disappointing, but the good news is the XM5 weighs 4 grams less than the XM4, tipping the scales at a relatively svelte 250 grams. They're also more comfortable to wear. They fit my head snugly, but don't have that overly clamped feeling. I happened to have a trip to France planned before I got my hands on a review sample, so I was able to test these on a transatlantic flight. I basically wore them for eight hours straight, only taking them off for bathroom breaks. They have the same battery life as the previous model, up to 30 hours with a quick charge feature that gives you three hours of juice from a three-minute charge. But as I said, they're more comfortable 